all kinds of cooking channel. What's going on today, everybody? Man, I tell you what, that weather's getting pretty and the river's going down. And hey, you know what? About time to go fishing. Hey, look here. I got a cooking show for y'all today. We're going to be making up some butternut squash, Grandpa Cotton style. If you ain't never had butternut squash, it's kind of like a, I don't know, kind of, it's, it's kind of like a pumpkin, like an out of season pumpkin. Uh, but we're going to show you how I cook it up today. Maybe y'all want to try it yourself. You're going to need a butternut squash. You're going to need some garlic, some butter. You're going to need some uh, maple syrup, some nutmeg, some ginger, and some good old veggie broth. Uh, olive oil, some paprika, and a little bit of, uh, I'm using sour cream chai. You're going to need a little bit of instant potatoes. You can use whatever you want. I'm using this kind. So, let's get on with the show. Alright, first off, uh, you want to find your butternut squash uh, about yay size, a little bigger. I don't know, that's about a pound maybe. Uh, and then what we're going to do, we're going to put this in the oven and we, I'm going to show you a way to do it. So we're going to take this and cut it off. Want to cut the ends off from it. Just like that right there. You can see it's got seeds in it, kind of like a pumpkin. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to do it best that we can get it straight. Just don't cut your fingers off. You know, hey, I, I'm subject to do that in these videos. Just shove your knife through it all the way to the end. Now, it ain't quite even, but it's okay. It don't really make no difference if it's even or not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to cut another section of it out like that. Okay? Now, what you want to do is you want to reach in here, and you want to cut these seeds out. And uh, you can save these seeds and, and, and put them on the tray with some salt on them. And they make a good little, uh, you know, like kind of like sunflower seeds. But you can put them in your, you know, you can put them in your stuff here. And they're pretty good, man. We might do that here on a roasting tray. We might roast them a little bit. But uh, I don't particularly care for them. And uh, so we're going to kind of do it all this way right here. What you want to do, you want to clean it up. You want to leave your skin on it, okay? Leave all your skin on Just like that right there. Clean them up. These things are really kind of hard to cut, so if you have to cut them in a couple pieces to get them thin enough to cook, that's fine. What we're going to do, we've got the oven on 400 degrees here. We're going to cook this baby on 400 degrees. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil in this pan. We're going to take these and put a little butter. We're going to rub out and round the olive oil a little bit like that. Pull it up. This one here, we're going to do the same way. Now get your olive oil spread it around. We're going to do this one here the same way, okay? Now, what I'm going to do now, we're going to stick them in there. Well, we ain't sticking them in there yet. I forgot something. We're going to salt and pepper Put as much pepper on them you want, whatever kind of seasoning you want on them. That just gives them a good taste. Uh, when you get ready to cook them, we're going to add some salt. Just whatever you want to put on them, it's up to you. That just gives them a good taste. The olive oil that caramelizes them. And we're going to add some paprika. I like some paprika on mine give it a smoky taste. So we're going to kind of heavy up the paprika and shake it on there and coat them good, okay? Now, we're going to take this right here and put it face down in this bowl, cooking tray, whatever kind you use. Face down, and we're going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes, okay? 30 minutes on the oven. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. All right, we got them in the oven for 20 minutes. And uh, next thing we want to do, you want to take one onion. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this onion in two. We're going to slice him right down the middle. Now, it ain't going to make no difference, but we got something we're going to do with this onion. We're going to set this onion right here. And I'm going to get some, uh, a little bit of seasoning we're going to put on him. So uh, let me stand by just a minute. Alright, I had to find my, my olive oil spray. You want to spray them down with some olive oil? 
Just coat him up real good with olive oil. You can use it whatever kind of oil you want. I prefer olive oil. Some people use corn oil, granola oil. I mean, just whatever you want to use. But I like to use olive oil. We're going to coat him down. And he's going to sit right here and he's going to rest for 30 minutes. What we're going to do here is I'm going to salt and pepper him all the way around him, just like this right here. You might want to put your bowl out if you don't have a work table like I got here. Salt him up good and pepper him up good, okay? We're kind of going to do the same thing we've done with the butternut squash. And we're going to coat him on this side. We're going to do him on this side. Now what we're going to do with this onion is we're going to take them butternut squash in 30 minutes. We're going to open that oven up and we're going to take uh, some paprika and put on here. We're going to take put these onions on that butter in, uh, in that pot. And we're going to cook them for 30 more minutes along with that squash in there. Okay? We're going to cook them 30 more minutes. And when that gets done, I'll show y'all what we're going to do. Now, while y'all waiting, I'm going to go ahead and make up the mashed potatoes because everybody knows how to make instant mashed potatoes. And uh, we'll be back with y'all in about 30 minutes. So y'all stand by. We'll be back. All right, everybody, let's give them a check. It's been 30 minutes. I'm going to pull them out of the oven. Oh, that smells good already. Pull them out of the oven here. We're going to open them up. Oh, yeah, they're looking good. They're getting soft. Now, what we're going to do now we're going to reach over here and we're going to take these onions, they're seasoned, and we're going to turn them face down in there. Face down. Just like that right there. Mmm. My wife says, don't lick your fingers during a video. It's my food, my video. Ha <laughs> ha, you know what I mean? Hey. I like tasting everything. I mean, a good chef is going to taste everything they cook. And uh, it's just me going to be probably eating this, so that's why I do. All right, we're going back in the oven for another 30 minutes. Something I, I made these little potatoes, you know, they're instant potatoes. Hmm, very good. Tell you a little trick to instant potatoes. Let me get some. I showed it to you in my last video. Old timers cook with it all the time. Can cow's milk. You add to instant potatoes, you add three, three spoons of butter. And of course, you use your two two uh two cups of water. Once you get all that mixed in with your butter, reach in there and add you about a fourth a cup of canned cow's milk. That makes these potatoes right here so creamy. Mm. It's a whole different instant potatoes. We don't use instant potatoes much. We use regular potatoes, but a little bit of salt in that, and you got it. But anyhow. When you come back, this is what you're gonna need to, to keep up with me. You're gonna need uh, you're gonna need a table, a good heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. You're gonna need a teaspoon of salt. You're gonna need a tablespoon of maple syrup, your choice, any kind you want. You're gonna need a fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg, fourth a teaspoon of fresh ground ginger. Man, if you ain't never used. Fresh ground ginger. Oh man, it's fragrant. It smells wonderful. And I need a box of veggie broth. And of course, salt and pepper. And we're going to need two tablespoons of butter. And I also like to use uh, a little bit of, uh, what you call it? I don't forgot. <laughs> uh, paprika in here. So I use a, a fourth tablespoon of paprika. So that's what you're going to need when we come back. 
and uh, your blender. And I'll be back with y'all in 30 minutes. We'll talk to y'all in a second. All right, everybody, we got it out of the oven, and we're gonna have to let it sit and cool for a few minutes. See there, now everything's nice and tender. Onions and everything, everything looks good. So we're gonna let this sit and cool for about 15 to 20 minutes to where we can handle it, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, everybody, it's been about 15, 20 minutes on the on this and we've let it sit here and cool down so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just take this spoon right here and we're just gonna kind of dig it out of here we're gonna put it in our blender still mighty warm just scoop big scoops out like that we'll clean this up real good Got all that goodness in your blender there these things have a real good taste if you just want to cook them like this and eat them like this, they still have a great taste to them. We want to be sure we get all that out of them. Y'all ain't never cooked butternut squash. It's actually pretty good. And uh, we cook it sometimes and enjoy it. And it won't stay in there. You can make this with a couple of butternut squash and you don't have to use the potatoes. But I like using the potatoes because it adds a little flavor and a little bit more pizzazz to it, I guess you want to say. If y'all enjoy my videos, give me a thumbs up on them, subscribe to the channel, and I appreciate everything from y'all. All right, we about got all that in there we can get. We're still hot. We're going to clump right there. More up right there. Now we already kind of seasoned this, so it's, it's actually very good. I mean, just like it is. I mean, you can eat it. Mm, it's good. Just like it is. Now what we're going to do now, we're going to get these onions that we put on this plate. We're going to put them in here with that butternut squash. Just like that right there. All right. Now we're going to just take this and hit this in the blender for a second. You want to run it on puree? Stir it all up real good. Round it up. season it any way you want to season it, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and add my, my butter. I have two, two uh, tablespoons of butter going in here, okay? Two tablespoons of butter. Alright, we've got uh, a fourth tablespoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg going in. We've got a uh, half a tablespoon of salt going in. Teaspoon, not tablespoons, teaspoon. I'm sorry about that. We got a fourth a teaspoon of ginger. And a whole heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. Okay. Now, we're going to add a little more salt, I mean a little more pepper to taste. However how much you want to put in here, that's how much you put in Okay, we got two tablespoons of maple, if I can get it open. All right, there it goes. Oh, Paul, getting a little weak. All right, not two tablespoons, one tablespoon. One good help tablespoon 
of maple syrup. All right, now we're gonna take, we're gonna put, this is a vegetable broth. You can use chicken broth, but vegetable broth seems to taste better. Um, it's 32 ounces, we're gonna put about half of it in there. All right, got about half of it in there. Now we're going to puree this up a little bit more. We may or may not have to add more vegetable broth, but if we do, we'll add it. It's a soup, so you want it soup. You don't want it real thick. You want you don't want just to run off but you don't want it to be real thick neither okay that's about how we want it right there we're gonna pour a little bit of this over in here we'll give y'all to show what it looks like all right i hope y'all enjoyed the video and this is butternut squash Grandpa cotton style. Let's take a taste of Mmm. Boy, that ginger. That ginger makes it fine. I'm, I'm going to show y'all something. You see that right there? That's how you want it. We'll just barely drip off when you got your spoon trying. But man. Oh my goodness. Mmm. You can eat this with a sandwich. You get your... Good ham sandwich to go with and dip in it. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Grandpa Cotton's Butternut Squash Recipe. Now, I'm going to tell you, I have a good time making these old videos. I make a mess, but I make a have a good time. And if y'all like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe on YouTube. Hey, follow on Facebook. Remember, we got a kids fishing tournament coming up next month on the 22nd. Y'all come on down and join us. We're going to be giving away some lifetime fishing license at the tournament for some young kids, 15 and under. And hey, remember, take a kid fishing, take a kid hunting, and Grandpa Cotton is gone.